Maybe you love grooming your garden, but find shearing a sweaty struggle. Does tackling your topiary leave you tired? Fed up with friction? Firing up your foliage. Tell me, what the hell is this? It's like those adverts, you know, the really extreme example, before and after. This is the, oh, it just goes to the intro. Hello and welcome to another episode of Embrace Your Outdoor Space. My name's Tommy Cross. And in this episode, we're going to be looking at ways to tackle, tame, and trim your topiary, because even the most ardent gardener can soon find themselves with some fuzzy foliage, a bit like myself, sporting a 48 hour shadow. I'm desperately in need of a haircut. Your garden can soon find itself needing a horticultural haircut. Now you could tackle and trim and tame your topiary with larger garden machinery, such as a hedge trimmer, or you could use the old style conventional methods, but my personal preference is to use possibly the most compact cutter you're likely to encounter, especially from Greenworks. This is a 24 volt, two in one hedge and shrub shear. And in this episode, I'll show you how to groom your garden, give it a close shave without hacking away your hedgerows. Where and what am I going to use my compact cutter on? First up, Buxus Sempervirens, and in particular, box balls. These are a great way to create geometry and shape in your garden particularly popular in courtyard gardens to create a prestigious look. Buxus puts out a steady rate of growth throughout the summer months, particularly during wetter, warm periods, and it can soon turn those sexy looking spheres into bristly balls. Next up, Bay or Laurus nobilis, particularly popular with topiary growers because it can be easily shaped and it grows steady and thick with a fantastic fragrance to boot Bay is a great choice for creating shape and size in your garden. But that stunning shape can soon grow out of order. So it's important to get rid of that finer, flouncier foliage before you find yourself with too much work on your hands. Next up is lollipops. In this case, it's a lollipop ligustrum or privet. Now this is looking far from shapely, sprouting out all over the show, and it's definitely lost that strong geometric look. This is more lolly flop than lollipop. Lollipop? What the hell's a lollipop? <laughs> and the easiest way to lick this lollipop and get rid of that foliage is to use those hand shears. And finally, coniferous cones, hedges, spirals, and shapes. These can come in a variety of different plants. Lalandii, Thoija, Yew. Me? No, Yew, it's a plant, Taxus baccata. Oh, sorry. And at some point, they too will require a coniferous crew cut in order to keep them looking at their best. So we talked about what we're going to be cutting back how do we do it? Well, we could use the old school conventional methods, but there's a lot of effort, time, and energy required in using the shears. And whilst they will snip and shear the surface, so many times I've seen what should be a satisfying looking sphere ending up with a flat top because it's quite difficult, believe it or not, to control your handheld shears, especially when you start getting tired you start getting a little bit lazy and then you take off a little bit more than you should have. Now, if you went to a barber and they did the same thing to you, you wouldn't walk out as a very happy customer. That's when that hand shear really comes into its own. It's ergonomic, it's lightweight and it's easy to use and you can go as slow and as steady as you like because you're not having to contend with all the duress and energy output. That battery's doing it for you. And it's all about guiding over the top of the surface. Don't rush in too fast too quick and hack at your hedgerow. And the other thing to be mindful of is to start at the bottom, very much like a barber would on the back of your hair. They don't work down top to bottom, they work bottom to top. So you want to follow that same methodology and stay across the surface and tickle over that foliage. That's all very well me doing this on here when I can rotate my potted up box ball. But if you're out in your hedgerows, one of the best ways to operate is to try and work over the top of your hedgerow. That way you can keep a bird's eye view on the shape of your sphere or the straight edges of your hedgerow. That's probably the least dramatic bit of footage Paul's ever shot. Far cry from me throwing lawnmowers off a cliff, but that's what it should be. It should be slow and steady. And you don't want to take too much off because then you risk the scope of damaging not only the shape, but also in periods of hot weather, you can end up putting unnecessary stress on the plant. Once you start feeling it 
as a more compact ball. And that's the shape we're after. That's when it's time to leave it. Take away that scrattier, fleshier foliage, restore the shape, keep the plant healthy and happy. Our compact cutter can fit in neatly amongst established hedgerows without any collateral cutting. You can focus on exactly what it is you want to trim and tame. And you're always mindful of exactly where the blade is because of that high visibility red bar, showing you exactly where those twin reciprocating blades are in action. This allows you to slice precisely without butchering your balls. And trust me, the last thing I want is butchered balls. Now with our globes looking glorious, it's time to turn our attention to our towering twisted topiary and in particular our broader leafed bay tree and our thicker stemmed thuja. And that's where that two-in-one tool really comes into its own because with the press of two buttons, I can go from our compact cutting to our shearing. Now, strictly speaking, this is labeled as a grass shear, but personally, I like to use this on our thicker foliage. This broader shearing surface and those larger openings between the cutting teeth allow me to tackle that thicker foliage much more easily. Well, hopefully today's video has given you some practical pointers on how to groom your garden. And if you're looking to give your garden its very own horticultural haircut, and you want to go from the old school to the new tool, then don't forget, you can always check out the link at the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I think I need a haircut myself, to be honest.